In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the technical R3 Photoshop action. So, the way the action works is you open up your photo, you simply brush over your photo with a color, and just play the action. So, here's the effect that the action creates, and as you can see, what the action does, it transforms the photo into this realistic drawing and sketch effect. And the results that you get are fully layered. So, there is a lot of options for customizing the results, and the action also. Uh, is made so that every time you run the action, you will get a unique result. So you always get unique drawing uh, variation, even if you use the same brush there. You. Right? So let me just close these two windows now. So when you open up your photo before you start using the action, um, there are just a few things you should check just to make sure that the action will run without any errors. So the first thing you should check is that your photo is the background layer. So it should be called background. I have this little lock icon. And if you have something like this, or anything else, just go to Layer, New, and choose a background from Layer. So this step is going to turn your layer uh, into the background layer. And then just click on this menu icon right here, go to all the way bottom, and choose the panel options. And just make sure that this option here, Add Copy, the Copy Layers and Groups is checked. Then go to the Image Mode, and make sure your photo is in the RGB Color Mode, Add with Kennel. You can also check the image size from here. So for best results, you should use the images that are around from 20 to 40, 4500 pixels wide or high. All right. So now to load the action, just go to Window, Actions, click on the menu icon over here, Load Actions, and just choose the action from a folder according to your Photoshop version. You select the action file, click Load, and the action will appear in your Actions panel. Then you can just hit B on your keyboard, select the brush tool, right click anywhere inside the canvas, click on the gear icon, load brushes, and just choose the brushes again from the folder according to a Photoshop version. Choose load. The brushes will appear here in your brushes panel. And to load the patterns, you can just right click here, uh, choose the pattern stamp tool, and click on this letter here, gear icon, load patterns, and again, choose the patterns from a folder according to a Photoshop version. Select the pattern file, choose load. And there is one pattern file will be added here. All right. So all you have to do now is just go to layer, new layer, to create a new layer, and just name it brush. It's important that you type the brush exactly like this, all letters lowercase, because otherwise the action won't work. Choose OK. And now just hit B on the keyboard again. Um, right click anywhere inside the canvas, pick a soft brush, choose any color here, color pick, it doesn't matter. And now simply all you have to do is to just brush over your photo, just like this. Alright, I'm just going to use my PSD file where I already done the brushing before, right here it is. So, it's important that while you brush over your photo, you have this brush layer selected, right? So you have this color fill on the brush layer, right? So all you have to do now is just select the action, click play. And I'm going to fasten the video here, and then I'm going to get back as soon as the action is finished, and then I'm going to go through all, all the layers to show you how it really works, how it affects the design, and how can you customize it. Alright, so the action has just finished, so just going to close the action panel for now. And the first thing that you probably want to do each time you run the action is to just quickly close down all these folders. So how can you do that? Is to just hold Control and Alt buttons for PC or Command Option for Mac. And while this folder is selected, just click on this little arrow here. And on that way, we're going to close down all the folders. So I'm going to start customizing this effect from the bottom. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hide all these layers. So the first layer that we got here is the our original photo layer, the background layer. All right. The next here we got um, some uh, background layers. So the first layer we got here is the uh, background color. And what you can do is you can just double click on this color box over here and you can choose any color. Alright, just gonna keep the default one. And the next one we got here are the two texture layers. Alright, so how to customize these layers is by changing the opacity. And all layers that you customize by changing the opacity, you can uh, change the opacity either by clicking on the word opacity and then dragging it aside, or you can just click on this little arrow here and move this slider around, all right? I'm going to keep uh, the default opacities for these two texture layers, 
All right, so the next one we got here is the background sketch. All right, so this is basically the sketch of the complete photo. And what you can do is you can also change the opacity over here. All right. The next area that we got here is the main sketch. All right, so as you can see, the main sketch is created right where you have brushed on exact areas all right so when you open the folder here we got a detail sketch and we got the outline sketch so i can hide this layer for now all right so here we got the outlines and as you can see the effect is fully layered so what you can do is you can just um, try to use uh, different opacities for these layers that give different results all right so I'm just going to increase the opacity of this layer a little bit just like this okay so what you can also do is you can change the opacity of the complete folder right so here we got a detail sketch and again the, uh, the detail sketch uh, effect is also uh, fully layered as you can see so what you can also do sometimes just turn off all these layers and then start turning them on one by one and see how they affect the design right so what you can do is you can change the opacity of any of those layers And what you can also do is you can try to shift click on the layer mask of some of these layers to disable the layer mask and just get this sketch effect um, around, expand the sketch effect around, alright, as you can see. So each of these layers creates different sketch effects, you can just experiment with these. And what you can also do is you can simply hide some of the layers if you don't want to use it. Or you can select its layer mask, pick a brush tool, choose a salt brush, set program color to black, and simply brush over specific areas where we wish to remove the specific uh, selected layer. Right? You can also change the opacity of the complete folder here if you like. And what we got here is the add more details layer. So you turn it on. Um, what you can do is you can also change the opacity of this layer right here and also you can uh, double click on this smart filter here and what you can do is you can adjust the threshold levels to, to change the to expand uh, or contract the area that is affected with this layer all right so depending on how much detail you want to add you can just drag the slider around and I'm going to set it like this and what I'm going to do is just going to drop down the opacity a little bit like this all right so the next layer that we got here is the shading layer so just going to turn it on so as you can see this layer really gives the depth into the design and the 3D effect. So what you can do is you can change the opacity over here. Alright, so I'm going to set it like this. And the next layer that we got here is the perspective sketch. Alright, so just gonna turn it on. And when you open the folder you got two layers here, the horizontal lines and you got the vertical lines. Alright, I'm just gonna change the opacities so you can change the opacities of those layers or if you wish to remove some specific parts of these layers, you know, you can just select the layer mask again and uh, set foreground color to black, choose a salt brush and simply 
remove the specific parts of this layer that you that you like all right so you can also change the opacity of the complete folder and the next layer that we got here is the foreground texture right so how can you customize this layer you can just double click on the pattern overlay here and what you can do is you can simply change the uh, opacity of this layer or you can also uh, scale the texture all right and what you can also do is you can just click anywhere here inside the canvas and you can drag around to position the texture is like all right and you can always click to snap the origin to just um, uh, place the texture uh, by default. Alright, so just gonna choose OK here. And what we got here uh, is the oral contrast layer. So, how you adjust the contrast, you just click on the opacity and drag it aside. So, you customize this layer uh, by changing the opacity. You're adjusting the contrast with the opacity of this layer, right? I'm going to set it like this. Okay, here we got the overall brightness. So just double click on this layer thumbnail, and here you can adjust the brightness using these sliders. All right, so what I'm going to do is just gonna move the slider on a little bit. Just want to boost a little bit the shadows and uh, highlights, just like that. And the last layer we got here is the overall sharpening layer. So what this layer does, it adds the sharpening to the design. But if you made any changes here, this layer needs to be updated as well. So how can you update this layer is to just actually delete this layer and then press Control, Alt, Shift, and D or Command, Option, Shift, and D to make a screenshot. And then you can just go to the filter, other high pass, and just set the radius to two pixels. And then just change the blending mode of this layer to hard light. All right. So what you can do now is you can change the opacity of this layer to adjust the sharpening as you like. All right. And the last layer we got here is the brush layer. So what you can do is you can just delete this folder and play the action again. And as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, you'll get some unique drawing and. Uh, you get some unique drawing and sketching variation, right? Because the action is made so every time you run the action, you get your unique result, even if you use the same uh, brush area. So all this drawing and sketching is randomized, right? So I'll just quickly check the before and after, right? So this is the before, and this is the after effect. Alright, so I hope you understood everything, uh, but if you still need any help or you got any questions, feel free to contact me anytime via my Metal Profile page. Thanks for watching.